Hi everyone, Andrew here from Best Wine Buys, and it's a great pleasure to be joined today by Hamish Clark from St. Clair Winery. How are you going, Hamish? Good, thank you, good. Thanks, Thanks. for taking the time to, to join us today. Pleasure. It's been a, a big year for St. Clair um, in terms of um, awards. I mean, it's always the way, but 2010's been another big one. Yeah, no, very much so. And I think probably probably Neil's, uh, Neil's proudest award was the recent Wine State uh, Winery uh, of the year as well as, as winemaker of the year. Uh, so two very big awards for, for Neil on that one. Uh, just also heard just recently that um, we've just taken the trophy for Pinot at Hobart as well. Um, so this is I think about the fourth or the fifth year in the trot, on the trot that Marlborough's mm. taken that, that Pinot trophy, which is, yeah. which is fantastic for Marlborough Pinot mm. producers. Yeah, and we, and we often think of St. Clair as you know, the masters of, of Sauvignon Blanc and, and Chardonnay, so to see that, that uh, that success with Pinot Noir is great as well. Yeah, no, it's, it's quite exciting. It's um, and certainly the years uh, the years ahead of us are, are going to uh, for, for me anyway are, are exciting years as those especially as those vines get some more vine age. It's really yeah. really what has been hamstringing Marlborough's Pinot productions to date as far as quality goes. Right. Well, we, we on Best Wine Buys we've had um, massive success with the the Vickers Choice range, um, fantastic value wines. Yeah. Um, particularly the Sauvignon Blanc, and we, we've just released the new 2010 Sauvignon Blanc yep. uh, and the 2010 Sparkling Sauvignon Blanc, which yeah. we're sampling now. Um, and we're hearing a lot about 2010 as a great vintage. Uh, how, how good was it? Yeah, I think so. I think it's, it's yet to be seen. Um, we, we get laughed at by our growers because uh, every year we, we do a grower tasting and they, they front up and and Matt and I, this is Matt Thompson, we're standing up the front saying, oh, this is probably one of the best vintages we've ever seen. And they're all like saying, yeah, you said that last year as well. You said that last year. But look, the vines in Marlborough are so young that um, each year we are just seeing little lifts in quality all the time. Uh, we've, we had a few challenges this year. Uh, and the, the cold January, February um, meant that we had a, a slower ripening through that period. And then we also had quite a hot, um, hot harvest window. Um, Daytime temperatures weren't necessarily hotter, but just certainly the, the nighttime temperatures were quite warm. And, and that's led to some challenges, but it's also led to some um, amazing concentration of flavours. Mm. Yeah. Well, we certainly see that in the, uh, the Vickers Choice uh, Sauvignon. I mean, uh, relative to its price point, the, the power on concentration there is, is fantastic. Yeah. And, um, and how about the sparkling Sav? I mean, this is uh, knowing St. Clair and knowing your reputation for Sauvignon Blanc, um, I guess it's no surprise that it's so good, but but how did it come about? <laughs> Neil actually Neil actually posed the question to Matt and I um, prior to 2008. Uh, we were we were talking about uh, maybe something similar to the Mount Riley Sovi, or um, whether we looked at Method Traditionals sort of style of wine making. And, and Neil is still asking the question actually about a Chardonnay or a Pinot Meunier, like a full-on Method style, but. Um, 2008 came along, um, that idea kind of went on the back burner and then of course Montana launched their Lindau, um, blew the sales figures out of the water and, um, and that sparked Neil's attention again and uh, he came back to us and said look, um, what should we be doing here and we said well look, t having tasted what's, um, what's around uh, and, and certainly like you've, you've just alluded to earlier, knowing, this, knowing the reputation of St. Clair, we didn't want to tarnish that reputation by putting anything, um, anything shonky or bottom end out. So we looked at it pretty hard for a couple of years and then this year decided we commit um, with, some, with some pretty good fruit. Cool. Um, and, and we're really pleased with it to be honest. We're, mm. We think we've nailed the balance, um, yeah. we've got the spectrum right. Um, and we've had comments from a few people um, that generally aren't bubbly drinkers that, um, that, that are, are really impressed with it. So, mm. uh, so all those little endorsements from the consumers that really are going to see whether this is a, as, is a success or a failure. Sure. Yeah. Well, it certainly got off to a good start with yeah. uh, Best Wine Buys yeah. customers. And when I tried it first, the thing that struck me probably most was that it's, um, it is a very clean, fresh, mm. pure Sauvignon Blanc, some yeah. of the more commercial examples that we had tasted previous had been a touch sweet, yeah. obviously for yeah. that market, yeah. but um, as you'd expect uh, from St. Clair, this is a, a yeah. pretty serious Sauvignon yeah. with bubbles yeah. um, and certainly quite refreshing yeah. as, as it gets a bit yeah. hotter. Yeah, and, and then that leads us on to the, the Pinot Noir, the Vickers yeah. Choice Pinot Noir. I mean, I don't need to introduce this wine to, to the guys watching um, at home. It's our biggest selling Pinot Noir for yeah. four years in a row now. Yeah. And 
I mean, how do you how do you manage that? I mean, again, for the price. Yeah. yeah. How do you get such a good Pinot in the bottle? Um, one of Neil's philosophies has is, is always been about drive and quality, and, and one of his key mottos is how do we do it better? Mm -hmm. And that's what he's always asking a question about quality. Even like, we all have just won a trophy for something, and he'll pat me on the back and say, That's great, Hayne, but how do we do it better for next time? Like, uh, you've just won a really prestigious trophy here, have I? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but it's that, it's that quest for quality all the time. We're keeping all of, it, our, all of our vineyard parcels separate, uh, we treat them all as if they're reserved parcels. Uh, we have learnt in a very short space of time what sites are suiting Pinot production, what sites aren't, and um, really focusing those efforts. And, and it's, there's been occasions where we've actually pulled vines out and replaced them with Pinot, or pulled Pinot out and replaced them with Savvy, where, where those varieties haven't been, um, been correct for the, for the particular soils. Um, Marlborough's blessed with a, a large variety of different soil types as well. You've got the very clay soils that are great for Pinot, you've got the stony bony sites that seem to do very well with the ar aromatics, the fertile soils that are great for, for the savvies. Mm. Um, for the Pinot, we obviously at the price point that we're looking at, um, majority of it's tank matured. There are mm. some barrels in there, but um, they generally are the downgrades from the reserve batches. Um, but it's given the same care and attention that the reserve batches are and, and really it's just the vineyard site selection, the, mm. the initial vineyard site selections and focusing those efforts into those places mm. that, that have really seen those qualities come through there. We well, certainly found it to be just a lovely juicy yeah. Uh, yeah. fresh style. I mean it yeah. might not have the palate weight of the, of the premium or reserve yeah. wines but boy oh boy is it uh, enjoyable yeah. And, and, yeah. and extremely drinkable. Yeah. So. Um, we look forward to the 2010 as well that you mentioned was uh, going to be a cracker for the Reds. Yeah, I think yeah, 2010 there's, there's the potential I think for the, 010, for the 2010s to upstage the 2007s. Um, we've got another couple of years of Vine Age and we've already seen with, um, with the few tastings that we've done of the 2010s that we've got much better concentration in the, in the tier that Vickers Choice is selected from. Uh, as well as the premium, so I think from, from the consumer's point of view they, they can really go in buying with confidence the 2010 vintages, especially that because choice level is, is going to be a step up on what they've had from 2009 mm, to 2007. Yeah. Well Hamish, it's been nice talking to you, I wish yeah, we, could, uh, we could take some more time, but yeah. um, thanks for taking the time to stop in. Um, cheers to your success at St Clair, it's yeah. been tremendous yeah. and we look forward to working with the, the Vickers Choice range in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Pleasure. Thanks Andrew.